Welcome back to my eLearning Brothers project. I'll be talking to you about closed captioning today. It's very important if you want to have a more wide, universally accepted course that you put in closed captions in your videos. Um, this is the intro that we saw a little while ago. I'll play through it really quickly. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all about creating eLearning awesomeness. Whether you need eLearning templates or custom training courses built from the ground up, we've got you covered. In this short video presentation, you'll have the chance to learn what we have to offer to help you become e-learning rock stars. So, what will it be? Would you like to learn about our templates? We have created and continue to create templates for e-learning software such as Adobe Captivate, Articulate Storyline, Camtasia, PowerPoint, and Lectora, just to name a few. Or would you like to learn about our custom development team? Our custom e-learning developers work hard to deliver visually explosive and interactive courses to delight our customers. Go ahead and select one of these options to learn more about what we do here at eLearning Brothers. All right, so I had a script already typed and written out, and uh, so when it comes to closed captioning, I can pretty much copy and paste that if I need to into a closed captioning software that'll then produce a TXT file, a text file that you can import into your closed caption section. To find the closed captions, you're going to click more, or if your ribbon is long enough, you can just click captions. This opens up this menu. You can import a TXT file or a caption file. However, Jessica didn't say the text exactly right, so I would have to make a lot of adjustments in, in the editor. And Camtasia has a lot of really cool techniques that make it so it's easier to, to caption than you'd think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to where she first talks. Hi. Right there is when she makes her first sound. Um, and I'm going to click Add Caption. This automatically creates a caption on, on the topmost layer right there. And it says Blank Caption. And you're going to see that this text pops up, this text box pops up for you to type the caption. How much do you type? What do you type? How do you know? There's this play and repeat button, so I'm going to click that. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all about creating eLearning. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all about creating eLearning. That told us about how long an average caption is going to last and what she says in that amount of time. So I'm going to hit that play again, and I'm going to type it as she says it. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all about creating eLearning. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all about creating eLearning. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning. Okay. Now that is all that I am prepared for her to go for this to go into the caption because it starts a new sentence. So I'm going to come into my editor and I'm going to find out when she finishes that sentence. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all right there. You can see a spike in the audio, so I'm going to drag it to right before that spike in the audio. And then I'm going to uh, drag this caption piece down to that area again. Then I'm going to click on the caption, double click on the caption, and I'm going to click the plus sign, meaning we're ready for the next, the next line. Then I'm going to hit play again. We're all about creating e-learning awesomeness. Whether you need e-learning We're all about creating e-learning awesomeness. Whether you need e-learning We're all about creating e-learning awesomeness. Whether you need e-learning templates. Okay, now I'm going to look at this and see when she finishes that phrase, which is right about here. All about creating e-learning awesomeness. Right here. So again, I'm going to drag that caption down. I'm going to double click on it again and click the plus button and then the play and repeat. Whether you need e-learning templates or custom training courses built from the ground up. Whether you need e-learning templates or custom training courses built from the ground up. Now this one I don't need to uh, resize. It looks like it's just fine. So I'm going to hit the plus button and then the play and repeat button. We've got you covered. In this short video presentation, you'll have the chance. We've got you covered. In this short video presentation, you'll have the chance. We've got you covered. In this short video presentation. Okay. Now it gets a little bit annoying. You can get really tired of someone's voice pretty quickly, but this is the quick way to create your captions. So if I were to come back and start this over, now with captions created. Hi, I'm Jessica, and this is eLearning Brothers. We're all about creating eLearning awesomeness. Whether you need eLearning templates or custom training courses built from the ground up, we've got you covered. In this short video presentation, you'll have the chance to learn what we have to offer to help you. 
Now it's very important as you're creating closed captions, uh, there's a few things that you need to do that you might not originally think. One is let the captions lead ahead of the text if you have to draw the line somewhere. Normally you just want it to line up perfectly with what, what they're speaking. But if you have to draw the line somewhere, if it doesn't quite work, you want it to come early. It's much better for your captions to come a little bit ahead than, than behind. Second is that you need to put in every thing that they say. If they say a word several times, if, 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 if I'm thinking like this, you need to put several ifs there. If they uh, use bad grammar, you use the bad grammar. You want it to appear so that the, the person that's using those closed captions is getting the same experience as your viewer. If not, then you're censoring it for those who, who need the closed captions, and you shouldn't do that. Closed captioning is really easy in Camtasia. It only exports if you use the smart player. So I hope that you can find success in using your closed captions in the future. Thanks.